good morning guys welcome back or to the channel in today's video we're going to be cleaning up down here in the front of the shop so first things first we're gonna get in the 6 -0. you gotta go get some other stuff too uh for the trailer and whatnot so we're gonna head out um see if we can find a part for a chainsaw cut some trees not this one but on over there that cleared out so let's uh hop in the 6 hole and head to conway all right guys so we're now back here at the house and well that happened <laughs> so we were uh, looking for a primer bulb for our little pole and chainsaw that we have we've had forever couldn't find one um and i kind of think it'll probably need a uh, carburetor too because it's been sitting for a while so that happened brand new steel um so this ought to get us going and we also picked up some stuff for the gooseneck over there but it's about almost four o'clock 3 30 somewhere in there so we're gonna go ahead and get started and see what all we can do today okay guys so this is what we're going to be working on uh at least this today so here's a bunch of stuff we pulled out of here. We were cleaning. Uh, that four wheeler needs to go back to its home. There's another four wheeler in the garage needs to go back to its home. Um, but what we're gonna do, we have a little little trailer over here, a little garden trailer. So we're gonna hook it up on the 350. See it over there. Hook it up on the 350 and uh, load stuff off. And I think we're gonna put a bunch of the stuff in the uh, red Mustang. So, uh, hook that up and get to work here. Alrighty guys, so we just, uh, I just dropped off the first load of metal and whatnot. My grandpa's brother, Wayne, come by uh, to look at doing some stuff for the neighbor over there. So we're gonna talk to him and see if maybe sometime this weekend he can bring his tractor and front end load over here um, and if we can get all this stuff moved out which we're making pretty good progress that was a bunch of uh little stuff this is all mainly big stuff uh battery got some plastic stuff there for my 420. uh <clears throat> yeah this four wheeler plastic i think i'm just gonna cut it up and throw it away in the trash can over there but maybe maybe not i don't know but anyway moving on i uh, just dropped like i said i dropped all that stuff off threw it in the mustang uh because we're about to go to the scrapyard it pretty here pretty soon um that still needs to come out of here i think we're gonna pull the jeep out um that way we can get the gooseneck in there but anyway um I think the idea to do this here is so we can start parking cars here instead of being right in the line of the road there. Maybe park the trailer there and you know whatnot. But anyway, it's kind of getting dark on us. Uh, shop lights already come on there. But like I said, I think we're gonna see if he can come over here sometime this weekend. I gotta help my mom with some stuff. I think tomorrow. Um, and we might cut down some trees. Our property line is right over there, if you see that little pink ribbon. So, I mean, we're pretty good ways from the property line. Um, so, I think we're probably going to cut out at least this big tree and maybe that cedar tree and some other, some of the other trees over here. Uh, that way, we can, again, we can start parking cars and whatnot here um, instead of over here where you can see them from the road trying to hide stuff and then we've been looking at getting a paint building so if we get a paint building that'll probably go right here or where the 607 um we had talked about doing a concrete pad right here and then doing another building um that way we could park like the tractor the trailer and so on and so forth under there and have like a long-term project short-term project shop I don't know what's 
we're trying to figure out everything but i want to get a building for painting don't like painting in here uh, me and my grandpa both agree on that because you get overspray kind of on everything so want to get some kind of paint building build something for powder coating kind of universal uh, so that might go right here but for right now i think we're going to start parking cars here um i think next probably grab those batteries put those in the trunk of the red mustang because those are not going to blow out obviously um and then we have some aluminum bits if you're hauling stuff off to scrap aluminum keep that separate from regular metal and the same thing with batteries but anyway just thought i'd give you a little update here we're moving right along i've been talking to him a lot about different stuff but anyway i'll give you all an update it'll probably be tomorrow like i said it is getting kind of late but we'll just have to see what happens all right guys so i think we're about done for the day it's seven o'clock and say it's getting dark um sun's already setting but then there's still talking over here but um I'm gonna make the 6.0 off over there by the door. Load all them batteries up. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and haul those batteries off in the morning. Um, I'll do that first thing in the morning. Instead of fighting with them in the car and all that stuff. So it shouldn't take shouldn't take very long to uh, just go ahead and haul them off. But I'm gonna back up here, load these up, and uh, I guess I'll catch you all first thing in the morning. Alrighty, guys, so we got uh, all them batteries from the shop loaded up back here. But we're about to go to the scrapyard. I mean, it's like, it's like 8 o'clock in the morning. So, kind of chilly. Let this thing warm up a minute. But we're gonna head to the scrapyard, drop these off. And then I think sometime or another, we're gonna try to haul off uh, the red Mustang again. But we're gonna try to get everything scrap metal wise that we need loaded up in that car. But that might not be today, it might be another day. So I guess I'll catch y'all here in a little bit when we get back. And we'll see if we can do anything else this weekend. But gotta go help. My mom did some stuff. Um, been doing a bunch of shopping for like shirts and stuff for Octane. Been working on that, so it's a good bit going on. We might not get to this today. We might just have to end up the video, but we'll just have to see. Alrighty, guys. So we are here. Um, and actually, if y'all remember the trail truck, it's right over there. But they're going to tell me where to go and I think we're just going to drop them batteries right off over here all right guys so we got the uh batteries dropped off um actually battery prices surprised me um uh, all them batteries brought like 90 bucks um kind of surprising but hey whatever um I'm just happy to get them out from in front of the shop we'll go look at that here in just a second but I got a bunch of stuff thrown in. The red Mustang. I need to clean some of that up a little bit. wasn't a, wasn't the best job of uh, throwing stuff in there. But hey, oh well. But let's go over here. Take a look. Um, like I had said, we're gonna get. I'm gonna try to get this trailer going here pretty quick uh, we're gonna get the jeep out the white mustang out probably about to haul that one off now, i might like to try to finish that black car pretty soon and get to work on the hyundai um those axles there i think we're gonna take those back there in the field and we have some other stuff back there um, as well but like all these four-wheeler frames, that one, all that stuff. I mean, we're going to see how much we can chunk in that Mustang. But 
making some pretty good progress. So, go over here in the shade. I'll show you all that. But, there we are. Making pretty good progress. Um, like I said, that thing needs to go back to its home. Uh, that table is probably going to probably just chop it up, throw it away. About to fall over. <laughs> but this thing here, little square base, is on casters. Uh, we can probably use that for something. That little chest, we can use that for something. So everything we can use, a lot of this stuff here, uh, we're going to keep that. We put over here, we have a scrap metal pile of usable stuff so we're uh we're moving along but like i had mentioned gotta go help my mom here in a bit here in about an hour so it's about 11 30 so i think we're going to pause on this probably end out this video um then we'll come back to this another time so i'm hoping to get to the gooseneck Maybe this weekend, I don't know. It's just, I mean, we're already halfway through Saturday. So we'll just have to see. But I would like to get, to, I would like to get this finished and try to get Wayne over here, my grandpa's brother, with his tractor um, and the front end loader and see if we can scoop all these leaves and stuff out of here, take them down there in the burn pile. And then uh, we'll cut all these trees and whatnot. But we're, uh, we're getting there. It's like I had told my grandpa on our way back, I kind of wish I would have gotten a bunch of before pictures and when all this stuff's all said and done, being able to see the progress, but it is what it is. That's what I have these videos for. So we're getting there slowly, but surely. I mean, you have two people working on this while doing everything else at the same time. Stuff takes a while, but anyway guys i think that's gonna be a wrap for today's video so if you guys enjoyed today's video please drop a like and comment down below hit that subscribe button thanks for watching guys hope everybody has a great day but we're getting there we got all the little stuff now we move on to the big stuff i think we're going to try to cut some of them cedar trees up and build a little lean-to over there to put um, my grandpa's dad's tractor under there. Maybe put his tractor under there. So, let's see how everything works out. But anyways, guys, that's going to be all for today's video. I'll catch y'all on the next one.